Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel and today I'm gonna show you how you can integrate Razer Pay in your uh, iOS app. Okay guys, and guys, uh, one request from you as always, uh, if, you, if you like my video, uh, then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell button so that you can get the all the notification related to videos which are upcoming. Okay guys and uh, if you are gonna face any issue related to this video or related to whatever the content i'm gonna show you can comment in the comment section okay so let's get started without wasting our time so guys uh, i have already set up a basic project so what is the idea behind this uh, there is a view controller and let's go on the uh, main storyboard so on the main storyboard as you can see there is a button that is a pay now button so whenever user is going to click on the pay now uh, it's gonna redirect it to razor pay uh, payment page okay guys and uh, okay fine so this is my uh, view controller interface and this is my view controller class swift class okay so and i have already installed a port um, that is a razor pay port okay guys so this port is uh, gonna help us to access the razor pay sdk in ios okay guys. so be careful about it uh, you will have to first of all install razor pay port okay guys. so guys uh, before starting uh, we have some uh, actually i have already write down all the steps which we are going to follow okay so let me open these steps okay guys so these are the steps and uh, the steps are what so first of all uh, okay there is a note uh, and that note is telling you uh, this ios version is go this sdk version is gonna work on ios 10.0 and above okay guys so this is the first thing second thing uh, we need to install the razor pay port as already i have installed so i'm not gonna install once again okay guys so you will have to install by yourself the second step will be to import razor pay okay guys so let me import razor pay okay so as you can see i have imported the razor pay and the step in the step 3 we will we need to create an instance variable uh, of type razor pay okay guys so let me uh, create one instance variable so for that i am gonna mark it as i am gonna mark it as um, instance variables okay sorry for misspelling okay guys so almost we are done Mm, okay so we need to create the variable here so i'm gonna create razor pay okay so razor pay is gonna type of razor pay okay guys so this is the variable and uh, i'm gonna make it as private so in, and the uh, i think uh, this step is completed and the, in the second part of this step it is saying to initialize it uh, with razor pay okay okay fine so i will need to call a init method of razor pay so for initialize let let me initialize it razor pay is equals to uh, razor pay dot init so guys as you can see uh, there is uh, one method in it uh, with key where uh, you will pass your uh, public key and the delegate okay guys so guys how will you get your public key I'm, I'm gonna tell you okay wait so guys here uh, you will need a um, key that right a secret key or we can say a public key okay so how will you get your uh, secret key or public key you will have to go on the dashboard of razor pay uh, if you have already account then you can directly log in if you don't have uh, any account then you will have to first of all sign up and then uh, you can sign in okay guys so after signing the uh, interface will be like this like this uh, guys if uh, you are logged in first time then the api keys uh, generation process will be there uh, there will be a link right so you can click on that link and you can generate your um, uh, api key okay guys so if you are uh, logged in after first time then 
there will be a, a link that is personalized account okay so you will have to click on this and after that you will get uh, one tab that is api keys okay so these are the api keys which have been generated and date month and whatever the details are there so this is the api key for me okay if you want to regenerate you can click on the regenerate test key so i'm not gonna do this i have already a um, key id okay so let me copy this key id and uh, so after copying it uh, i'm gonna in export and i'm gonna put here okay so this gonna be, uh, api key and the second thing is i will need to pass the uh, completion protocol so i'm gonna pass self okay so okay fine and uh, in the third step what are you saying create an extension of view controller and confirm your uh, razor pay completion okay so i need to do what i need to create the extension of view controller and uh, let me uh, confirm that is what uh, razor pay payment completion protocol okay guys so i need to confirm this protocol and there are two methods on success on payment success and one another is on payment okay on payment error okay guys so there are two methods basically so guys uh, if the payment is going to be success it's gonna return me pa uh, payment id and if uh, the there is any error then it's gonna show uh, error code and the description about it so guys what i'm gonna do in these two methods uh, basically i'm gonna give one alert so let me uh, let me write the code for alert so alert is equal to UI alert controller and uh, let me give some title message so title will be uh, paid and the message i'm gonna say payment success and the style i'm gonna make it as alert okay guys so this is gonna be my style and i want to add one more thing that will be uh, ok button in my alert okay so for that i'm gonna use ui alert action and the title I'm gonna do is uh, OK and uh, the style I'm gonna take it as cancel and the completion handler should be win. Okay. So now let me add this action to alert. So add action and the action is action. Okay. So I have added my action and same process I'm gonna do in the case of payment error okay so why is uh, okay so uh, there will be paid payment success instead of paid i'm gonna say error and the error message is uh, i'm gonna print first of all my error code and then in the next line i'm gonna print uh, my description okay so let me enter description so i have completed and there will be okay button so guys uh, i think it is completed now next step is what uh, so guys as you can see there are uh, three possibilities of error first one is zero it returns zero for network error uh, it returns one for uh, initialization failure or unexpected behavior and the and the last maybe payment cancelled by user okay so guys the next step is uh, step 5 in which uh, it is saying to initialize these uh, parameters and uh, okay so let's uh, let me copy it and go on the export so guys as you can see i have uh, given some properties so guys uh, and while giving the properties you will have to make sure one thing that is that is what ki whenever you are passing the amount uh, that to be paid should be in the passive okay guys passive if you want to pay 10 rupees let's say if you are want to pay 10 rupees then you will have to pass 
1000 paise means you will need to write here 1000 okay guys so i hope you understand what i'm trying to say next is description what is the payment description uh, third one is image so guys uh, you can give one image also so i'm gonna give one image so let me enter the image name that will be uh, ss okay guys next one is uh, name uh, business name okay what is the product name so name business so i'm gonna put swift series okay guys so a uh, prefill is nothing but it's a contact number and email id that will be already prefilled and the theme color which you want to give right so let's say go further next thing it is uh, saying if you want to show the color on the uh, progress bar also then theme color should be in the hexadecimal okay and uh, after setting all parameters call uh, the method of razor pay that is open method okay guys by passing options so for that i'm gonna call razor pay dot open and you will have to pass your options okay so let me pass the options i think we have done all the things yeah and so and guys and the staff for as you can see as uh, it is saying ki ios 9 has a higher requirement for secure URLs, right but the uh, many indian banks uh, do not comply with these requirements so you can add uh, ns transport security so that uh, your http request also can be done from your app uh, okay let me do this so here uh, you will write uh, go on the plus icon and write app transport security settings and after that you will need to write uh, ar allow arbitrary loads okay and this gonna uh, say yes okay so after doing this uh, your http requests also gonna be hit from your app right so guys let me run this app and check whether is it working or not so guys our app is running now uh, and as you can see there is a pay now button so when i am clicking on the pay now button what happens okay my internet connection is not there let me connect by uh, with internet so guys i have connected with internet so let me click on the pay now button guys as you can see uh, i think why it is not showing image maybe there is a problem okay so i need to pass the uh, whole reference of image okay let's uh, okay so there is a swift series as we have passed the brand name and the description purchase description whatever you want you can pass here and there is a rupees okay guys so uh, it is considering 1000 as 10 rupees okay so now as you can understand the prefilled uh, phone number and email id is there you can select any one of the payment methods so in my case i'm gonna select uh, internet banking when i click on the hdfc and click on the pay 10 rupees as you can see uh, it is giving some instruction like demo blank bank page you can uh, make the success or failure so guys uh, in my case i'm gonna click on success okay so what is the problem here why it is not showing okay guys let me use uh, present method of view controller and alert true i'm gonna pass the completion handler as nil okay and same i'm gonna copy paste in the case of error also so let me run once again So guys as you can see I have selected my net banking HDFC okay and I'm gonna click on the success so it is showing the alert as paid and payment success okay guys so let me click on the pay now once again and what happens if I am going to fail over my transaction so let it be open Okay. it is opened successfully now click on the HDFC bank 
and I'm gonna click on this time on the failure okay so payment failed as you can see the message and it is asking for uh, retry okay but I'm I don't want the retry okay so let me cancel this transaction and as you can see the error code is 2 and the payment cancelled by user okay this is the description so uh, this is only for this video okay so I will see you in the next video or next series okay so guys if you like my work then kindly hit the like button and subscribe button don't forget to press the bell button thank you